Hello dear chess friends and welcome to our new video. In that video I'll present the game I played on the internet, 3 minutes time control against some anonymous guy, and you'll see how the so-called Grand Prix attack in Sicilian may be dangerous weapon if black uh, doesn't play precisely. Knight c3, c5 and game transposed to Sicilian, e4, knight c6, f4, g6, Knight to 3 bishop g7 and now very interesting move g4 which I must admit is not so correct if black chooses the dragon setup. Dragon setup is with g6 and bishop g7 so called dragon bishop. Uh, that early g4 is much better for white inversion if black goes for early a6 b5 for uh, neither flying spouse and lines and something similar. But okay, black played e6, bishop g2, h5, and the point of white's idea is g5, restricting uh, activity of black knight g8. If that knight comes to e7, which happened the next move, now still pawn e4 restricts the knight. And after d3, <coughs> d5 was played, castling, and black reacted with knight d4. Now, <laughs> in the spirit of Grand Prix attack, it is on white to provide e5 or f5 in some good moment, and that's why I played knight h4. Not only to block that pawn h5, not only to put pressure on g6, but with idea also to prepare my move f5. And here, b6 is good reaction, but I think it would be maybe more common to do castling first, or something like this, but b6, okay, we should not criticize this. Knight e2, which is wrong here, after d takes e, black will get much better position, because I must not play d e because of bishop a6. If I take with the bishop, he will get square f5 for the knight, not right now because rook is hanging, but generally after rook b8, uh, black would be of course in, uh, in advantage, black will have advantage after this moves. Simply there is no harmony in white camp. But that is blitz. And black played bishop b7. Where I played knight g3. Now everything is okay for white. Knight e2 was a serious mistake. And now everything is okay for white. Where white wants to prepare c3 and f5. And queen d7 is mistake. Here black must simply go for this. And after d for instance queen c7. To set rook on d file or to castle. And uh, to get solid play after this. I will probably play c3 to prevent castling. But still <coughs> castling will work. Because right now there will be some wild complications with discovered attack to my queen. And uh, I would be practically forced to go for bishop b2 where rook d1. Rook d one with some wild complications. Rook and two pieces for queen and two pawns. Unclear position. Okay, knight g3, queen d7, which is terrible mistake. Now after c3, knight c6, everything looks okay for black. But black is deadly lost after my move f5. He tried with ef, ef, bishop e5 to get rid of my dangerous threat uh, f6. But anyway, after that f6 comes... He tried with bishop g3 to change some destiny. He took on g3. And after h takes, he played uh, knight c8. It was the wrong with move knight c8 and with entire black setup. Uh, the point is, uh, I have very good move uh, king h2. Okay, rook e1 would be also good, but black anyway. Will, uh, will be lost after king h2 because after casting still in some moment I will crush him with uh, <coughs> sacrifice on h5 bishop f3 bishop h5 or maybe g4 anyway after that definitely my two bishops will dominate the game and black would be in huge problems here I think even that move will be good enough to win the game if he takes queen h5 will lead to winning position if he doesn't take Sacrifice on g6 will decide the game. Well, knight takes, f takes, bishop takes, with queen h5 following with 
ending the game. After King F8, he wanted to keep Rook on H5 to avoid such uh, sacrifices, you know. Bishop H3, Queen D8, Bishop F4, Knight D6, and Rook comes to the file. Bishop C8, but now there is fine tactical motive earlier predicted by White. Queen F3, that knights are hanging, pawn D5 as well. And the most important is Black King is unsafe and plays without rook on h8. After bishop h3, there is fine solution. Queen d5 attacking to both knights. Bishop remains attacked. He tried with knight f5 to go for something. But after queen d8, rook d8, king h3. He took, I took with the king to avoid rook d3 with check. And after rook d3, he just helped me to win my game in style after rook a d1. So how to win? Well, after king e8, there is bishop c7. Now his knight cannot move. Rook cannot move. There is dangerous threat of mating. Uh, if king goes to f8 or g8, there will be the same. Let me show you. After this move, well, I can go first for uh, rook d6. After knight moves, let's say there, that will be winning because he must not play king h7, that would be rook f7. Deadly last position for for black. Here I can go for some trick, like bishop d6, bishop f8, he must not take because of mate, and after transferring bishop to g7, then I will play rook d8. Absolutely winning position. But in the game, after king e8, bishop c7, my opponent plays c4. If he doesn't play c4, if he waits with a rook, and after that move, I wouldn't take this because he has that move, but I will just play king h3. I would rather attack that knight with my king. I don't see the way he can prevent it. And after knight moves, there will be beautiful mate. So after c4, knight rook d6 immediately ends the game because if knight moves, there is <coughs> there is mate. On d8 and if rook g8, rook c6, king d7, now I have rook c4 and my bishop survives. Of course, if he plays something like rook c8, that will change anything because uh, that will change nothing because after this uh, a rising pawn endgame is just winning for me. So after I played rook d6, my opponent resigned and that's the game. Uh, I wanted to show you so beautiful a realization after I managed in the opening to play f6 my opponent is practically lost because that so advanced pawn on f6 practically splits black armies on two rook h8 <coughs> cannot come the game uh, as I mentioned earlier if he goes for casting I think that will end the game so, my dear chess friends, thanks for all your suggestions, wishes, intentions, likes, and especially like uh, for, for your dislikes, of course. And um, thanks a lot for your support. We're here for your uh, pleasure, and uh, we hope you can also we hope you can also learn something watching our videos. See you soon with new material and best regards.